Welcome to programming knowledge. We've already know how to make an output in Blinklet on Arduino, but today I'm going to talk about input on Arduino. We can do many things with this. Okay, let's go. Uh, there are two types of input. That's the external and internal. But uh, first, I will talk about pull up or down resistor first. Uh, it's been we use a resistor to make an input by external. And when I use these types, I will set up like this in Arduino, pin mod, spin and input. The first parameter is the Arduino spin, which I want to receive input signal. And the second is set that pin is input as external resistor. Okay. Uh, I have a diagram like this. I will connect VCC with 5 voltage. And normally the resistor right here is 4700 ohm. Uh, the VCC will be connected to the one pin of resistor. And the other pin of resistor is connected to a pin of button. And the other pin of button will be connected to ground, Chindi. And you see the branch right here will connect to the input of Arduino. Now pay attention of the button right here. When the button is not pressed, the Arduino input pin will receive a high level input signal. Okay? Let's say this is all the way high level input. When we press the button, the Arduino's input pins will receive a low level input. Okay? Let's uh, pay attention with the button. Not press and this is press. Okay? The status is different from each other. Okay, this is the real circuit and I will connect 5 voltage to the resistor and then connect resistor to button. You can use uh, the button with two pins because I don't have a um, button two pins in this diagram. You can connect like this. Okay, this is the circuit. I will connect 5 voltage to the resistor then connect to the Arduino's pin input. Okay, and connect to the button at the same time. And the other pins of button will be connected to the GND ground light like this. Okay, now I will make an example with pull up resistor. I have a diagram like this. Uh, I uh, use the diagram as the reverse slide. And I will use pin 3 to receive the input signal and use pin 13. Pin 13 is mean. Okay, the condition is if I press the button uh, and after I relay it. Uh, the leg will blink once. I have a new project here with name is input project. Okay, now we'll set up the pin on Arduino with uh, an output. I will set pin mod and the output is pin 13 so I will make a 13 is input and then I make I make the input pins like this diagram that's a pin 3 so I will make pin 3 is input like this, pin mod 3 input. This means make external up, mm, pull up or down resistor. Okay, now I uh, make a condition. Uh, the condition is uh, when I press the button and after I release it, uh, the leg will blink once or twice or many times. So I will uh, have a if condition and in this bracket I have a condition to check the input at that pin I have a digital read and the parameter right here is the pin you want to check and I want to check pin 3 okay and the status right here is logic 1 or logic 0 the logic 1 is high level and the logic 0 is low level, as I said, okay? Now we'll check the 0 because, uh, like the, like the reverse slide, when I press, when I press, this is low level input, so I will check the low level. If if the Arduino pin is receive low level signal, I will blink the LED. Okay. Check if my Arduino input P 
pin is low level this means zero right and right here I have a while loop y is to red 3 semicolon uh, I will put a while loop right here to check if I still press button okay if I still press the button the while loop will loop forever until I release the button okay and then after I release oh, check if I still uh, push press the button and if I release uh, after uh, after release will blink I have a blink right here this is all right 13 output uh, sorry hike and then delay one second then digital right 13 low delay one second one second okay now I will copy and paste to make twice blink okay uh, instead of using 4700 kill ohm I don't have it so I will use 1000 ohm okay and the button I will use the button 2 pin instead of 4 pin slider diagram okay it's quite same so, so now I will uh, connect like the diagram the diagram like right here I will connect the red wire to the 5 voltage right here and next is the resistor connect with 5 voltage the other pin of resistor will connect to connect to the button and uh, at the same time I will connect it to the input pin 33-0-1-2-3 and the other pin of button will be connect to GND okay your circuit will be like this okay now we we'll upload the code check okay come three upload let's check when I press the button uh, the leg will blink twice let's check one two twice okay and now when I press but if I still press the leg will not blink after I release it the leg will be blink okay release blink okay okay uh, now I will move to the pull down resistor the diagram is pretty same with the pull up we just change the position of resistor and button together right here change the position of button and resistor I will connect the 5 voltage to the button and the button to the resistor and resistor to ground GND and the branch right here will transfer a low level input okay the Arduino will receive a low level input when I don't press the button and when I press the button the status right here is high level input okay pay attention to that this case is uh, reverse with the pull up right and this is the diagram of pull down resistor 5 voltage to the button and the other pin up button to resistor at the same time connect to the input pin and the other pin of resistor is connected to GND uh, I don't make an assemble with the pull down resistor because it's quite same with the pull up resistor so you can try this pull down yourself to see the difference from pull up okay now we will move to the internal resistor in Arduino we will set up like this here pin mod the first parameter is still pin 
and the second parameter is input pull up. When you set up like this, the I don't know will understand you uh, make an input with these pins and you use internal register. Okay, this is the diagram is quite neatly right. Just two wire, and we don't need a res external resistor. We just need to connect a button, one button pins to GND, and the other button pin to input. And pay attention when we don't press the button, the Arduino input pin is high. It's always high. It's always high input when I don't press the button. But when I press the button, uh, the Arduino will receive low level. Okay, now check the assemble with this type. I will connect like this on the Arduino. First, I will change a little bit of code. I will set up right here is pull up. And this is my internal resistor. Internal. Right here. Still be like that. Check if there's no input pin is low level, and check if I still press the button, and it's still like that. Before upload the code, I will uh, connect like the diagram. Okay. Okay, we'll connect like the diagram. I have uh, ground to GND. And the other pins, and we can need to the input pin that is pin three. Okay, pin three, and I will release the resistor. Okay, just two pin. Okay, now we we'll upload the code. Upload. Okay, now check the operation. When I press, and if I still press, it doesn't blink, but when it releases, it will blink twice. Okay, it's blink twice. Okay, try it again with uh, press and release uh, immediately. Okay. Okay, that's the only thing about input on Arduino. So you can uh, make an input with the other device instead of using button. Thank you.